In this short lesson, we're going to learn how we can filter a list of things from a dynamic input like this selectable list. So we have already encountered search constraints ever so briefly when we set up our data source for this vertical list of trips on our trips view. We added this created by search constraint here so that we only saw the trips created by the currently logged in user. If I was to remove that, then I would see all these trips, including ones that haven't actually been created by the user who's logged in. But we can also add other search constraints here. So let's say that I only want to view trips where the type is family and friends. What do you think will happen to the list of trips? Well, one way that I find is quite helpful to understand how search constraints work is to think about each of the search constraints here as a question that's being asked to every trip or every data type that we're searching through. And only if the data type answers yes to each question, each search constraint, do they get displayed or returned in the search. So if they're created by the current user, then okay, they can go to the next question. Are they family and friends? Yes, okay, then they can be displayed on the page. So these two search constraints are going to stack here and only the trips that match both of them are gonna be returned out on the page. And if we load up the app here, you can see that that's the expected behavior. We've got one family and friends type trip created by the current user and that's the one that we see. But in many cases, we don't want to predefine here what the search constraint value or the filter value is going to be. Rather, we want this to be pulled dynamically from some kind of input. So just to demonstrate this, I'm going to add a selectable list element inside of my header. I'm actually just going to drag it in here. And this selectable list element, which we were introduced to in the last lesson, we can just call it trip filter and we're going to set this up the same way as we did in the last lesson where we're going to pull all of the things all of the entries for this list from our trip type option set so the type of choices is a trip type and then what choices do we want to display well just all of the trip types that we have in our option set and then for good measure let's amend the display value of this text to be whatever the trip type in the current row is will show the display value for that trip type. And this is going to give us a fairly ugly looking interface right now, but it doesn't matter. This is just for demonstration purposes. What we want to do next is hook this selectable list element up to the data source of our list. So within our search for trips, I'm going to add a new constraint here. Again, it's going to be that type field. Only now, I'm not going to set this to be some predefined option. I'm actually going to select as the data source the output or the value inside of this selectable list element that we just set up, specifically the selected choice. And if you're following along, you're going to notice something interesting here, which is that we're not seeing any trips whatsoever here on the page. If I do select one of the options like family and friends, well, voila, now we are seeing the corresponding values appear. But if I remove my selection by just tapping on it again, then I don't see anything which is sort of unintuitive from a user experience perspective. We would expect that if the user hasn't selected any filters, that none of those filters should apply. So the way to solve this is actually to tick this little checkbox here, ignore empty constraints. When we do that, we find that the data source is behaving as though the filter element, the selectable list element doesn't exist at all. So everything is being returned until we select some value from the selectable list element. So that's a nice start, but what we really want is this kind of nice, smooth 
filtering user experience. So we're gonna start setting that up in the next lesson.